oh, I always have tips for aspiring writers. Because I love aspiring writers. They're at a great place. They're at a great starting place. They want to do something. They're genuine about trying to do something. And what they're really looking for is some hands-on, some hands-on approaches where they can find that they are useful. So, let's go to this one. Okay, so this is a journal. This is a fifth grade journal. So you would get a journal like this. Get rubber bands. You can get those for cheap. And get a cheap journal. Don't get an expensive one. Don't get the kind with the lock and key on it because my sister had that kind and I had a pair of wire cutters. I just cut the key off or lock off. So you get one of these. Get a small journal so you can carry it with you. Like I have all oh, like this little small journal. This goes right in my pocket like this. So all day long I'm walking around with it and I'm writing little notes and things down. Then drawing. I think drawing is really important. So I would draw my house and draw where everything happened inside the house. I had maps of my school where everything happened in the school. I had maps of my community where everything happened in my community. So I would really take a very keen look at where all the strong feelings took place and all the major activities took place. And I would start matching up feelings and events, feelings and events, because I would know that that's what made a good story. Something happened, what do you feel about it? You have a feeling, you made something happen. What came first, chicken or the egg? Sometimes the chicken, sometimes the egg, it's okay. Just keep that thing tumbling forward. And so then I would make sure that you had good writing habits. 10 minutes a day, that's all you need. 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, write furiously, put it away. Next day, 10, 15, write furiously, put it away. End of the week, two weeks into it, now you have this rough draft. You can take it out, rewrite it, and then you think of basic elements, beginning, middle, end, problem, action, solution. You're thinking, what are my characters? What's that setting? What, what, you know, what's the plot or the situation? How does the action grow up? What is the kind of climax? How do we examine the character's feelings? And then you, know, you have a physical ending and an emotional ending. Physical ending, of course, solves the problem. Emotional ending really affects the characters. Now, if you just know those basic ap approaches and those basic elements and the sequence of how a story unrolls, if you have that lodged in your mind somewhere, then every thought that you have, you could see where it's going to fit in your story. right? So developing that network in your mind, that construct, is where you begin to know where your thoughts go. And that's what I think is so important. You have great creative thoughts all the time. Every young writer has great creative thoughts. They just don't know where they belong. And they come to you randomly. So that if you have a thought and you go, geez, this is not where a story develops, go, well, ah, oh, that's an action. That's probably going to go in the middle of my story. But if you get a thought that comes out of sequence and you go, I don't know what to do with this thought, and you just crumple it up and throw it in the trash can, at the end of the day you have a lot of crumpled up pieces of paper in a trash can. You need to know how to organize your, your story and how thoughts randomly come in and then you can just begin to place them. It's not something that is difficult. It is just something that it isn't always taught well and needs to be taught well. And like all good writing, it takes time. So that whether you're a kid at home with your journal, you have to give yourself time to succeed. And if you're a teacher with a classroom, you have to give those students time to succeed. And it just takes the reading, the writing, the organizing, the rewriting, the polishing to really get a student to feel comfortable, confident, and heroic about a really good piece of written art.